Yeah, Keenan, uh, obviously you talked after the game about the tackling and maybe could have been, been better. Uh, has that been kind of a point of emphasis in practice the last two days for you guys? And, and how much so? Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely been focusing on that and um, just straightening up some of our assignments, I think has been a main focus lately. Uh, make sure we got the plays down, both those two. I wanted to ask you about uh, Josh Wilson. Uh, how's he coming along? What do you see from him? And does he have any potential? Oh, yeah. Josh Wilson is a heck of an athlete. Uh, he's someone who can stop the run and is deceivingly fast in space. And I think Josh has all the potential in the world to play. And then just one last one. You. Uh, what are your feelings? What do you remember about past rivalry games? And maybe what have your brother passed on to you about the game? And what do you expect? Yeah, I mean, I've watched all the games. I was only part of one. That was my first year back in the mission. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's always been a fun rivalry to watch. Obviously, it's been some, some down years and, and losing, but we're excited this year to so what we got, so what we prepared for, and um, excited for the matchup. Other questions? I'll ask another one. What has what uh, Trajan told you about it? He played in quite a few. Man, he said it's always just been a, a fun game, one he always looked forward to. Um, I remember emailing him on the mission, and. He's like, hey, this is the game this week, Utah. You, know, you got the fans going crazy and on on the internet, social media. So there's a lot of build up, and usually that's what I remember from is just that that build up excitement. Norma and then Jared. Hey, Keenan. So having already gotten 17 tackles just in the first game, how do you? just move on from that? And how do you look to continue to improve? And like, what's the next step for you? Keep doing the same thing. Keep doing the 111th. Um, those 17 tackles came from um, our team doing their assignments, our D-line holding strong. So just keep doing my position, keep doing my role and trust my teammates to do their role and whatever the outcome is, that's what it is. And we'll be okay. And have you done anything differently over the off season to kind of prepare for this jump in production? Uh, for me, it mentally has been my focus this off season, obviously getting physically stronger, but to, to try to understand the game a little more, learn the offense. I understood my defense assignment, but how that kind of relates to what the offense is going to do, wanting to do. So yeah, I'd say the mental side has, has helped me a little bit. Keenan, you talked after the game, and even now you're talking about tackling. I wanted to ask about the short passing game. Arizona got a lot of yards off of those, and a lot of it, like you mentioned, was because you weren't able to rally to the ball quick enough or they were able to make guys miss. How do you address that? What needs to happen to, to minimize those gains? Yeah, simply rally up. You know, um, it's usually a good sign if, if a team is throwing those check downs, throwing it into the flats, and we just got to rally up faster trust each other, keep them in the vice and, and get the job done, really. Awesome, we'll go Mitch, last question. Yeah, Keenan, uh, if, if memory serves me right, when you were coming out of Timview, both BYU and Utah, uh, obviously BYU, but Utah off, also offered you two. Um, how, how close was the recruitment for, for you when you were coming out of high school? Was, was BYU always the place or was it kind of a torn situation between BYU and Utah? Yeah, at one point it was definitely close, I'd say. But um, when it came down to it, I understood this is where I needed to be, this is where I wanted to be, and that this university had what I wanted. But yeah, I can't lie and say that it wasn't close at, at one point in my recruitment. And, and you know, one of the things with this rivalry is that it's just so close in proximity, uh, you know, with with how close the two schools are, do you have any connections with either the coaches or players at Utah currently that uh, that you'll see coming up on Saturday night? Um, not so much. Uh, maybe some coaches through recruiting. 
obviously I know Britton Covey from high school. He was my quarterback, so and Devin Kalfusi, who was also here. Some of those guys who are now on the team.